What is protein? What foods is it found in? Why is it important and how much should we eat? We'll answer those questions and more in this video with Homeschool Arcade. Let's check it out. So when we hear about protein, perhaps the first thing that comes into your mind is maybe protein shakes and protein supplements that many athletes use. And that's because protein, while it's extremely important for maintaining and increasing our, our muscle function. In fact, protein is absolutely essential in a large variety of different body functions. But what exactly is protein? Proteins are very large molecules, and just like carbohydrates and lipids, proteins are composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But what proteins have is that they're the only macronutrient that also contains nitrogen. Now, these elements compose something called an amino acid when we put them all together. You can see an example of some amino acids right here. Now, there are actually 21 different amino acids which differ in the way the atoms are arranged and bonded together. And these 21 amino acids combine to form different kinds of proteins. Now, scientists actually don't know exactly how many different types of proteins exist within the human body. <laughs> but estimates range anywhere from 10,000 to several billion. So they really don't know. They're figuring this out. And that's a lot of proteins. The next question we need to answer though is, what are the functions of proteins in our bodies? Why do we need proteins? Well, first, one of the main functions of protein in our bodies is, well, structure. They form certain tissues in our bodies and provide it structure. In fact, there are over a hundred different types of structural proteins that make up of about 6% of our whole body weight. And some of these include things like collagen, which is found in bones and ligaments and our tendons and our skin and cartilage and muscles. Then there's elastin, which is found in the skin and the connective tissues. And keratin, which is found in our, our nails, our hair, and also in our skin too. Another extremely important function of protein is their role as enzymes. Now, what are enzymes? Enzymes are proteins that create chemical reactions in the body. They create a place for reactions to occur and help to speed up the chemical reaction process. Nearly every chemical reaction in the body requires an enzyme and hundreds of reactions to occur in cells each second. Now, when you think about that, that's amazing. Each second. Now, briefly, some other important functions of proteins include things like creating hormones, maintaining the even distribution of water throughout our bodies, maintaining the proper pH balance of our blood, transporting molecules, uh, protecting our bodies against invaders in the form of antibodies, energy production, and, and proteins are involved in every aspect of the wound healing process. So, as you can see, proteins are absolutely crucial in the proper function of our bodies. Now, let's check out this FYI. FYI for your information! So, tuna and salmon have about 30 grams of protein per 100 grams. But crickets... What? Crickets? Give you at least double that protein. What? Crickets? Crickets give you protein. Ew. So now we know what protein is and what it does for our bodies. But where do we get it in our diet? And how much should we eat? Well, proteins found in lots of kinds of food. Proteins found in seafood and meats, eggs, soybeans, peas, and seeds. It's also important to note that not all proteins contain all the amino acids our body needs to function, so we need variety. Most meat, soy, and dairy-based sources contain nine essential amino acids our bodies need and are classified as complete proteins. Whereas incomplete proteins, or foods like corn and legumes, are, are lacking one or more of these amino acids. So, what's the general recommendation in terms of diet? Well, it's that kids four and older should have about you know 10 to 30 percent of their calorie intake be from protein, and adults 10 to 35. So, now you know what protein is, its function in our bodies, and where we find it in our food, and about how much we need to eat of it. So, protein is an essential part of our diet, and it's critical in the functioning of our bodies. 
So, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share this content out there. So you all have a good one.